Rugby is a huge part of your life. It's dictated what you've done for many, many years now. But you're arguably even better known at the moment, certainly in New Zealand, for the extraordinary work you're doing with mental health, uh, a space that you're not only a huge advocate of, but a, a space that sadly you know only too well. Yeah, I, so I had a medical depression during my career. Um, and it was the hardest thing that I've ever faced as a person. So um, post my career, I decided to, to talk about that. Um, but the, the biggest concern for me at the moment is, you know, 800,000 people committed suicide last year around the world and um, 120,000 died from war. So, you know, this is a pandemic. Um, it's something we don't traditionally talk about, but our mental health just like our physical health. So, you know, a male a day in New Zealand commits suicide and that's something I find really difficult to live with without trying to do something. So, you know, we need to break down the stigma. Um, John and I were talking the other day about how hard it is for athletes to transition out of professional sport. So we've all got our mental health and we go up and down. And so just really, really important. Um, you know, like you learn in, in all types of life, it's important to talk about your mental health, especially for men, because we're useless <laughs> talking about it, you know. Um, normally when you go and see your mate, he's, how are you mate? Yeah, I'm all good, you know, I'm all good, you know, and you always get that. So, so yeah, my, my goal in, in, in my life is to try and turn those stats around uh, in New Zealand and in the world. So, need to keep talking about it.